hundreds of students listening to valuable messages. How the hell did I get here, you ask? Let's find out. It all begins with a trip in a train to Toronto. On my way to deliver a speech to high school students. And here with my beautiful manager and girlfriend, Rita. This right there is an educated man. All right, so we're uh, finally in Toronto, walking on the streets. It is uh, just a little cold. Nothing compared to the storm, the hell on ice that we were going through in uh, Montreal. Hey, look what I have here. And where are we going now, Rita Noor? Going to the Eaton Center. That's great. Isn't Toronto so lovely? Yes. Feels like a Canadian New York, you know? How much more walking? My hands are freezing. But then I have gloves that I can wear, but I'm choosing <laughs> not to wear them. I'm speaking really fast because if I slow down, my mouth will freeze. this. This shit really scares me. Mark exaggerates everything. I don't exaggerate. Yes, you do. I'm uh, so hungry, I'm burping. Everybody heard me. Oh, it's really loud. Yep. By, by what's happening right now. So, um, we just arrived at Upper Canada College and uh, about to deliver a speech about diversity and language. Mike, so, uh, and uh, apparently we have to go through a bit of a ceremony as we go in. It's very formal. <laughs> It's very funny, but cool. And I get to sit on something that's kind of a throne. It's very, uh, very Games of Thrones. Right? It means hello in Arabic. 
So you see what I did there? I used something that you guys didn't know and provoked some interest and intrigue and curiosity as opposed to fear. Right? Because often we, uh, something that we don't know we tend to be afraid of. Maybe because we're too used to living in a certain bubble. Uh, but as soon as you start stepping outside of it, you realize that there's nothing really to be afraid of. That it's actually something that allows you to connect with someone. This is why I love language. Because language is the first step to understanding, to building a bridge. So really, language teaches you how to be empathetic with people. Who speaks two languages? Okay, three. Raise it, raise it high, raise it high. Four. Okay, five. Okay, we got a few, six. Twenty-five. Okay. okay. Another reason why I think language is so precious is because language is a resource. I grew up with three languages. I grew up with English, French, and Arabic in Montreal. And I grew up also with different cultures to live with parents and being mixed in, in schools and elementary and high school. So there was never a sense of, I'm afraid of what I don't know. I was always intrigued by different cultures. I'm like, the way they eat, the way they talk, the way they express themselves. In Lebanon, we always speak with our hands. Italians also speak with their hands. Japanese people are more reserved. These things are always so interesting to me. How different, how many different ways people can express themselves. So I came to appreciate what is different because I learned that I can always learn from what is different. This is how I got here. Well, I just finished delivering a speech. It was awesome. He gave me a nice gift here. Rita is looking for places to eat. This is what she does all day. I'm goofing off and she's doing business. Oh, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. I'm trying to get us a place to go eat. Look at that, guys. While she's talking and saying nothing. Look at that awesome bottle I got. Sick. He even wrote me a nice letter. They're so kind. He was here. Shoulder trying to get that shot. <laughs> Didn't you now? We are at what's this place called? Hi. It looks it's cute, and I'm very hungry. Very hungry. Did you just pause. Thank you. Better do. And we're about to have pad thai. Yeah. About that place. 